Hey everybody, welcome to this week's Build Your Stash. Um, for this week, I made some tassels. Um, they're pretty simple to make and recreate. Um, so here's four that I already have made and packaged. I'm not gonna make any on camera this week, but if you want a tutorial, I'll sure show you how, just ask. Um, but they're pretty simple and easy to make. Um, for, let me show you the one that's not packaged. Okay, so I do have it on its packaging, but it's not packaged yet altogether. So. For these two, let me see if I can get one of these guys off for you. So they're just simple tassels. Um, I used a lot of the ribbons that you can get at Hobby Lobby or Michael. Any with the gold uh, dot printing is from Hobby Lobby. And then I um, closed it with the thread that you can get in the jewelry department, either at Michael's or Joann's. I'm sure Hobby Lobby carries it as well. I love that thread. Um, and then here's a small one, and I did the same thing, only much smaller. And I didn't include as many strands on this one. And then this one here, let's see if I can get this cute little guy off. I used a different clasp on this one. The other two are lobster clasps. This one is not. This is a more traditional closure, like you see on a necklace. Okay, so um, this one I have, if I can get it straight here, I have some uh, rhinestone trim. And I have a gold leaf, which I got at Hobby Lobby. I have some more ribbon from Hobby Lobby. I have some sequin trim that I got at Michael's. And then I have some of this Hobby Lobby trim. And then I have some of this Hobby Lobby trim. So I guess it's a Hobby Lobby tassel. Um, I did use this ribbon crimp up here, again from Hobby Lobby. And I can show you what those look like. Let me grab them. Okay, real quick. Uh, okay, so here are some of my jewelry findings. So here is what the ribbon crimp looks like, okay? So it's open like that, and then you just squeeze it shut. And then um, they also have ones like this. This one's in silver. It's a little bit different, but same idea. Um, and you can get different packages of those kinds of things to help um, do, the, do the crimping. Okay, so um, that's that toggled then. For my packaging, here's how it looks finished again. What I did is, I have this tool. It is a making memories tool, I wanna say. Yeah, see if I can find it on there. Um, you, you pull, it's magnetic. You pull it in and out and there's different tips for it. I've had it a long time. So it cuts this shape into it, which is this shape right here. If you can see that. Um, and then I used my we are memory keepers punch, and I punched the hole right in the middle. Let's see if you can see that there. And I did that with all three of them, and then that way I could just hang them from each one and they could be taken off on and off easily. So then on the back, I doubled it so that it would be a firm and thick cardstock. So give me a second, let me put these all back on here. And then we can put it in the packaging, and we can put the topper on together. Okay. And I think it looks nice packaged. You know, you can just throw it in your drawer if you get it as a gift or whatever until you're ready to use it. Simple and not too bulky. All right, so there's that. If you would like a tutorial also on how I made the packaging, I'm happy to do that. Just let me know. Okay, so then we have our packaging, which is just one of these self-sealing bags. And we're going to throw that guy in there. Making sure our tassels are all kind of laying flat. So you can at least see them and then we'll seal that guy up. I'm not a perfectionist, but I do like it to look neat. Okay, and then we have that side. Okay, so our tassels are all there and they're in pretty good shape. Then we have our bow. So this is the bow I used right here. So it's in two pieces and what I did is I took the outer piece and I folded my paper in half and I die cut it so that it would give me that. So I could put over top and front, I'm sorry, top and back and then I die cut the middle piece and that gave me that and I put a little um, curl bling on there. So then I'm just going to get my hot glue gun. Okay. And I'm gonna find out, oh, you know what I did? I actually put, uh, oh, that's great. I put 
I'm not using my hot glue gun. I put um, double-sided tape on it already, so I'll find my spot that I like. And I'll set it down. And then I'll come and do the other side. And I will set it down. And that's that. And that is how these are. So these are my five um, packages of tassels that I made for my build your stash for this week. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them below. Thanks so much, so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.